Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about Nintendo Switch 2. We have potentially the very first, or you could call it second if you want to count Call of Duty, confirmed game coming to Nintendo Switch 2. It seems to be just inevitable at this point that we're going to see more and more of this stuff moving forward, but this is actually a really fun game and I'm glad to hear today that this appears to be a Nintendo Switch 2 game, which is crazy for a system that hasn't been announced. We have a lot to talk about with that. We also have the an idea anyways of when Call of Duty is actually going to be coming to Nintendo Switch 2. And I mean, it's when you think it is, but we know which company might be behind it, which is pretty cool. And now setting that aside, we're also going to talk a little bit about the possible specs of Nintendo Switch 2 as well, at least in a ballpark way that helps you understand what we should be expecting from this system when it actually comes out next year. Now, before we dive into that we are on a road to 150 thousand subscribers so if you are enjoying this content and you want to see up to date on all things nintendo switch 2 or mario zelda pokemon i don't know whatever it is anything nintendo be sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and go ahead and ring a ling that ding a ling to get all of our stuff sent to your notifications so you can catch it right away now looking at this we need to first talk about this story from thq so thq nordic did a showcase today they presented a bunch of new games some previously announced some not known and their presentation was mostly focused on xbox series x and x playstation 5 and pc there were a couple of switch games but one of them in particular it's not so clear the one switch game that was obvious was trying five a clockwork conspiracy literally had the nintendo switch logo at the end but another game that was announced is very precarious now it's important to remember that thq nordic has been big supporters of the nintendo switch and even a lot of these you know playstation 5 and xbox series x games they announced could potentially be on nintendo switch 2 in the future but one game in particular it seems pretty sure that it's nintendo switch 2 related has to do with south park snow day so when they revealed the game on their THQ Nordic Showcase, it didn't have a Nintendo Switch logo listed as a platform on the trailer. They only listed current generation platforms such as PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. In fact, there was no Switch logo anywhere to be found in the trailer or on the website for the game. However, in the description of the trailer on YouTube, it does say it's coming to Xbox Series X and S, PS5, PC, and Nintendo Switch. No TM by the name, by the way, so they're not even using it like as a trademark. Notably, there's no PlayStation 4 or Xbox One version of the game, and those platforms are obviously more powerful than the current day Switch. Now, this could simply be the case of trying to abandon dead platforms in order to increase attach rate with the latest systems, something that might fall in line with the fact that there's been rumors that some Switch Two devs are worried about backwards compatibility and attach rate with, you know, the new systems and saying they've been struggling with PlayStation 5. So maybe it's like, hey, this is the answer. We're just not going to make this a cross-generation title. However, that's not really where the story ends. Because while that could be an explanation, there is actually a more obvious one. Given the ominous 2024 date, but no release month or time given, because if it was simply going to just be on the current platforms and it was about attach rate, why wouldn't they include the Nintendo Switch logo in the trailer? Why is that omitted? And why do we have to dig through descriptions and, yeah, press releases to even find it mentioned that it's coming to Nintendo Switch? Is it possible that this is their very first game officially revealed that's coming to Nintendo Switch 2 after all? If it was coming to Nintendo Switch 2, they can't publicly state that, correct? A platform that hasn't been revealed can't magically have games announced for it. And maybe they don't want to use the logo publicly because it would be misinformation to present a logo for a platform the game won't actually be on. But also, with the history of South Park games on Nintendo platforms, they don't. They, they just want to ease Nintendo fans' minds that they are going to end up getting this game. It's an interesting situation, and one that doesn't really have an easy answer. And if it is for Switch 2, does this also suggest the Switch 2 is indeed more powerful than the PlayStation 4? And if that's the case, how much more? Or is it just the case of using more modern architecture, and it just makes it easier to port it to the system? 
These are all questions that aren't going to be answered until 2024. But I personally am leading to this being a Switch 2 title. Also, we can add in that the name of the game is South Park Snow Day. This could definitely be planned as more of a holiday 2024 release, when many parts of the world that buy video games might start to be experiencing some snowfall, making it a perfect match for the season. Consider the likely launch timing, the lack of a logo anywhere in the trailer, and it being confirmed in a press release and description of the video as PC, PlayStation 5, Xbox X slash S, and Nintendo Switch, it just seems likely they are already mentioning a system that hasn't been revealed, and that's why they don't want to use that logo. Now, that's all fun, and I'm really excited about that, but we also have a bit of a hint for Call of Duty. Not that we don't know Call of Duty is going to be on Nintendo's next device, that 10-year contract's on lock, but Doctrey81 mentioned something today in a video where he noticed a hiring post for Treyarch, uh, and they're hiring someone who specifically has some experience with Nintendo Switch, and we already know from court documents that the first Call of Duty game on Nintendo with the New Deal happens after August of 2024. This has just been publicly stated. So the brand new Call of Duty game coming holiday 2024 well, it does appear to be that one that Treyarch is actually working on based on their usual dev rotation. Treyarch also has a lot of experience making prior Call of Duty games on Nintendo platforms, possibly making it a great fit to be the first studio to bring forth a Nintendo Switch version of Call of Duty. Some may mention that Bobby Kotick did say in that court case against the FTC that they do not have Switch 2 dev kits, but the dev kit rumors popped up in July, not when that case was ongoing, making it far more likely they probably have those dev kits today than when they were in trial. Of course, the contract that guarantees Call of Duty on Nintendo isn't in action just yet, while they iron out a new agreement with the CMA. Naturally, besides these two quick little things, Switch 2 information has actually died down just a little bit as we wait patiently for all the business and behind closed doors meetings and upcoming events like the, you know, the Gamescom event, PAX West, Nintendo Live, and even Tokyo Game Show at the end of next month, which may lead to more leaks and all that happening in September and October. Now, nothing's wrong with this, but as your number one source for all things Switch 2, I want to make sure every update is possible to find right here at Nintendo Prime. Now, one last thing I wanted to bring up, and this is based on some old leaks, but hasn't been talked about in a while, at least on my channel, is I wanted to remind you guys of some of the earliest leaks that have existed for Nintendo Switch 2 in the first place, and that was that NVIDIA leak last year that leaked out the NVN2. NVN2 is likely a codename for this next chip. NVN was what they used for Nintendo Switch, so it sort of makes sense that they would use NVN2 for the very next one. And later, thanks to an NVIDIA employee, they confirmed that there is a chipset related to NVN2 known as the T239 and that it does exist. Based on additional leaks from other NVIDIA insiders, well, we don't really have what the exact specs are going to be, possibly eight, eight CPU cores and all of that doubling up what Switch has, but beyond that, we don't really know much. What we can do is, even with that T239 and what we do know about it, with cutback specs, it is still possible that Nintendo Switch 2 produces PlayStation 4 level power output in handheld with docked mode getting damn close to PlayStation 4 Pro. This would make it actually a decent leap over even what the Steam Deck can output at this time. And it's not really that crazy, since in docked mode, Switch is basically 2.5x as powerful, almost quite, not it's not exactly, but pretty close to available performance in handheld. And doing that again would certainly bring Switch 2 in docked close to the PlayStation 4 Pro, of course, using newer technology advancements and modernized game development tools. So some people have talked about how this isn't possible because you look at, hey, something that comes close to PlayStation 4 is right at that level is like a $700 ROG ally using the latest technology from AMD. But I think what people forget is Nintendo ain't working with AMD. Nintendo's working with NVIDIA, and ARM CPU cores are really, really, really damn good. Like, as awesome as Ryzen is, and I love Ryzen CPUs, ARM is not a slouch, and they often come in at way cheaper prices. It's just a different type of technology. And then on top, you throw in that this is NVIDIA. This isn't 
AMD, and maybe NVIDIA is cutting Nintendo a really damn good deal. After all, NVIDIA is making this chip with Nintendo's input. So there is a lot to be said that just because that's what other companies have to charge using completely different technology doesn't mean that's what Nintendo has to charge. So just want to keep this in the back of your mind that this is what I think we are is the reasonable expectation for what this is going to be. Of course, we're not going to know until sometime next year after it gets officially unveiled and we start to get... Yeah, I mean, maybe we'll, I, I shouldn't say that we won't know. It's possible that developers will start giving us massive hints before it's unveiled, but we'll definitely know next year. That being said, I do want to thank you guys for being here. It's been a long day. I'm sort of dropping this video when I am because I wanted to sort of not just get views for today, but also get some views on Saturday. I'm going to be gone all of tomorrow. So there'll pretty much be no content, maybe a couple of tweets and our uh, Mario countdown, but that's about it. We got a really busy day with some family stuff. My, my sister's having a new baby. Uh, so we got baby shower. We got uh, oh, my fiance's got to go to a bridal shower and we got a bachelor party thing. So it's, it's going to be a whole long day, but I thank you guys for being here and I want to catch each and every one of you in that next video.